original tractor cam and today I'm going to install a sunshade on a um, Dixie Chopper Z1 zero turn mower. So I've got a 30191 sunshade. Typically when I uh, install a sunshade I like to assemble the upper part first and then once assembled connect the receivers and then finish it out by then leveling it out and putting it on the mower. And of course then testing it out afterwards. Here's the parts, shrink wrapped in. I pull these all out, lay them out, get them set up. Again, we'll wait to assemble and put on the receivers. Very last step for the assembly part, just before we level it off. So I'll get this stuff out and then we'll continue after that. So I've laid out all my parts for my sunshade. And we've got what's called the upper part of the sunshade. We have the rear bow a flat piece of steel with holes punched into it. Then you got the top bow. That gives the height of the sunshade later on, stretching the vinyl. You have the front bow, which actually consists of two pieces, a male and a female end that go together to form the front bow. And then we have the rear post, which will support the whole sunshade and slide into the receivers later on, once we get the receivers put on. Then we have the side braces, which give added stability to the sunshade that connect the upper part to the rear post. So those are our components. I like to assemble the upper part and everything at this point, hand tight the nuts and the bolts, and uh, then later on after we get it on the unit, we'll level it out and we'll tighten it up then with a 7 16 socket and wrench. So that will be it, so I'll assemble this real quick and we'll go on to our next step. So I've hand assembled the unit, hand tighten just the uh, nuts and the bolts just for now until we get it on the unit and level it. But this is what it'll look like. Again, I'll make it easier later on when you put it on and we'll install receivers next. Alright, here we are. Assembled the upper part of the sunshade. Now we're going to install the receivers. And these are going to get sandwiched between the seat and the seat pan on either side to connect there to the, the unit. Half inch ratchet, we'll get it all in. So I'm going to loosen this up, loosen all four sides up, but install one side at a time so your seat doesn't fall off. A little bit easier that way. You need to line it up with the bolt holes you have. frame, it's all level and tight, now we're going to install the front cover, the vinyl. There's a little pocket in the front vinyl that that front bow goes into. And also a secret is push this top bow down during installation to make it easier. Now we've got our uh, rear screen to put on. Measure that up. Screen on. It's like putting on a fitted sheet on a bed. Do one corner at a time. The last corner will be tight. That make sure the sunshade stays on. It's on, push up the middle bow. Good and tight. Ready to go.